Pretty sure you can remember the time when you thought about the future, you thought about classes that could interact with the world around you. Well, the future is here. At least it looks like it because Apple is rumored to be working on what Google has tried but failed to deliver and the name Apple Glass is going all over the internet. But what exactly is this new tech and what should be expected from it? Let's find out. Rumors spanning for over a number of years, a handful of recent leaks we've gathered actually show up a shimmer of light at the end of the tunnel as Apple just might be working on the latest technological innovation behind closed doors at Apple HQ, tentatively called the Apple Glass. This is not Apple's first rodeo in the world of VR though, since we are already familiar with the AR VR headset which is supposed to be released in 22 or 23. We're assuming Apple might put all the data they can gather from the first gen headset in order to deliver us fully functioning, perfect and admirable AR glasses. John Prosser, who has a reputation for providing accurate info about tech before its release, talked about a lot of key details in this report. First off, according to him, the name's official, it'll be called Apple Glass. Let's break down the design rumors. When we talk about AR glasses, it's hard not to remember the brilliant but ill-fated demise of Google Glass. Being too far-fetched of an idea, the glasses failed horribly. Apple should did their homework and is trying to make the pair of glasses look like ordinary, everyday glasses which can be used in tandem with the prescription. This is a big change for Apple when comparing it with the Ski Mask theme design of the first gen AR headset that's probably gonna be released next year. While not much info on the exact dimensions, Prosser did mention a prototype consisting of a plastic body but he's sure the material will change before being revealed to the general public. In terms of looks, we can all take a breath of relief realizing how wearing them will not make you stand out like a nerd in the 80s with giant glass blocks similar to Google Glass. The Apple Glass will feature displays within both lenses and will be visible only to the viewer keeping your privacy in check. Here's another thing worth mentioning. According to the Japanese publication Nikon Kogyo Shimbun, Sony has been given the responsibility of providing Apple with OLED micro displays to be used in the upcoming glasses. Framus, who is a well-known supplier of embedded vision tech, commented on Sony's OLED micro displays being small yet mighty while providing blazing fast response rates and a wide color gamut while reflecting as low light as possible. Making sure our dream concept of AR glasses are indeed in the works if not coming true right out of the blue. Now, this might strike a nerve, but according to Prosser again, the glasses will not be housing an onboard camera like the Google Glass, which had tons of issues regarding privacy, but will be instead going with a LiDAR sensor which is being used by the latest iPhones and iPad Pros all around the world. It works by bouncing light off of a subject and recording the time it takes to return. This tech is often used in high-tech self-driven prototype cars. Prosser confirms how Apple Glass's team is currently using every bit of data they get from the existing devices to improve the upcoming AR experience. If all goes well, we will also be having the ability to detect front-facing gestures for input with touch panels on the glasses themselves. In terms of battery, Prosser said it'll be powered by a built-in battery which will be cheek compatible while the glasses starboard UI will be done through your iPhone. This idea was also backed by a report from Bloomberg which suggests the glasses will run on their own operating system that'll be allegedly titled ROS. Now, how much would the future technology cost? Now, do take this with a little bit of skepticism but considering the ability to power the glass with your iPhone could pave a way for Apple to keep the price tag well within reach, say around $1,000. Considering we're living in a world where iPhones and iPads are almost at the same price level as the MacBook Pro. But surprise surprise, Prosser claims it'll be surprisingly affordable at just $499. As incredible as it sounds, there'll probably be some more variants in the classic Apple fashion that'd cost way more, but for an entry level price, it's pretty promising. And, with Prosser claiming how Apple had the talks of revealing the glasses alongside the iPhone 12 in October 2020 did not really end up being true, for now, according to sources from Bloomberg, the glasses have been in early development in 2021 and still need a few more years to perfection despite the 2023 planning. In the meantime, we gotta see how the AR VR headset will fare since it's coming out earlier, which should give us a glimpse on what we're about to see. We'll be back with more updates regarding the glasses as soon as we get more info on them but for now, do let us know your thoughts and opinions regarding this as we would love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.